So, um, I decided that we really don't need to see most of the tutorial place because it's not very interesting. So, I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of what happened and then we'll hop into the game after the tutorial period. Um, and because I feel, I feel like I don't want to be showing you guys stuff you don't want to see. So this is going to be actually, what I feel like I'm, I should be doing right now is, um, giving you, like, a basic rundown of what happened, like, like, this video, these, this video series is going to be a lot more editing and a lot more story based. So, it'll show you gameplay and everything, but it'll, it'll also mainly be representing what happened before Skyrim. And then, um, later on this year, or maybe early next year, I'm going to be getting Skyrim, uh, and, um, we are going to be playing Skyrim together. So, that way, um, we can, um, we can, like, so that way you guys know what happened before Skyrim, but I'm not focusing too much on Oblivion, because I realized that I'm going to be playing Oblivion until, like, this time next year, if I want to continue. If I want to finish up the, the storyline, we're only uploading two videos a, uh, a week. So I'm going to continue from my last save game. I just played through it, uh, and I found some town. So I basic run down of what happened was we were going through that really annoying dungeon place, and um, the emperor we were ambushed, and the emperor died. He was killed by some cult member, uh, and he handed me this a amulet and said I had to bring it to some dude, and I'm. I think, and I think he was in this, here, I'm just gonna check my quests, also I figured out how to jump, so that's a good thing, um, so, <laughs> thank goodness for that, because I had no idea, um, oh, and I talented, I, I cho chose my, my skills, so my major skills were th these, and these are my minor skills, that I don't really care about, um, so, we're going to be figuring out what quest to do now. Uh, I believe the quest was... Okay, this is the map that I have. So, basically, I traveled along from over this way. Um, what the free am I? Um, I came down here, and I got out of the prison around here somewhere. Um, so, I'm going to go into this town here, and I'm going to see what's going on. Uh, but first, I need to figure out what to do about my quest so i know there is some way of checking your quests and i figured it out and now i forget it um so, okay. uh, wait a minute uh, uh, I, <laughs> I always seem to be getting these darn controls i don't know why um oh this is it um so i need to find no not that um i need to find this is the storyline quest which is deliver this amulet to this dude um, so I want this to be my main quest. I don't, I'm not sure how to make this my main quest. Uh, do I break? Um, okay. Near the city of Cor Coral. So this is not the city I should be at. Um, but I'm just gonna go explore it just because I'm not gonna be only doing storyline stuff. I'm just gonna be editing quite, yes. like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be just, um, screwing around in the world. I'm going to actually be adventuring and not like, I'm not going to be settling, settling down in a house or anything because I'm going to be doing all that stuff when I play Skyrim. So right now we're just going to check out this town and then we're going to go find Coral. So that guy is weird. Talk, talk to me. You. Get lost or I'll pull your arm off. <laughs> Hey, sorry, bro. Didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, it's just a bookseller. So this is a pretty nice town. It's nice. Is that guy taking a... Is that guy peeing? Okay, no. <laughs> he looks like he was. Um, Woohoo, 360. So, um, yeah. So I'm not going to be exploring the land much or doing, any dun um, doing many dungeons that I don't need to be doing. Because, like I say, I'm going to be doing that when I play Skyrim. Not when I play, um, Oblivion, so let's just get going, um, jump, jump, um, so I just need to figure out where the frig to go, um, how are you, I've been better, how about that, the news from Anvil, something to report, um, directions, what are you looking for?
The castle is north, on the hill. The guilds and shops are west of the river. The homes are east of the river. Okay. Well... He's that thief that the Imperial Watch are... Yeah, whatever. Um, can't get on this damn conversation. Okay, whatever. See ya. Why do you Fair bother way. me? Go away! Uh, what? Crap. What is this? Oh, I accidentally did- I was holding shift while I- Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I was sprinting and then I opened my tab menu. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Um... Okay, so I need to find this coral thing. Here's Imperial City. This is where I just was at. There's more a window there. That's from the last game. Here it is, coral. It's over this way. So I went ex in the wrong direction. So I'm be going back to coral, and I will see you guys when I get there. Okay? Um. So see you there. Seriously. Oh, bye. Okay. So here I am in this coral place. I figured out how to fast travel. So I actually got here a lot quicker than I thought I would. Um. Now find Joffrey at the Wenton Priory. I heard there was a probably ask a guard for directions, recently. so I'm gonna go do Awful that. Creatures. But this game, it doesn't have this. this, this whoa, that's the moon. Goodbye. Looks like Jupiter or something. It's a crazy moon, bro. Have you ever bought a horse uh, from Bongo? Wait, what? <laughs> How many moons are there here? It's like Tatooine. What the frig? Um. Okay, whatever. So let's see. Let's see if we can find someone. See what I can see. Um, We're all talking about the Empress murder. We have no answer. Excuse me. I'm on duty. Yeah, whatever. I need directions. What are you looking for? Um, landmarks. The castle is to the east. Inns are near the gate and fountain. The guilds are north by the Great Oak. Okay. Shops are near the fountain and up the street west to the chapel. Wayne and Priory is outside the south gate, just past okay, the stable. Okay, so I was just at the south gate, so I'm gonna go to Wenton Priory. Hey, thanks, bro. Bye. Um, let's go. Um, greetings to you. Greetings to you too. What? Yeah, whatever. Why are you walking so slow? I hate I hate walking in this game, so I'm always sprinting. <laughs> so, yeah, like I say, I'm not gonna be like rushing through the game exactly because I want to enjoy it. How are you? But I'm going to be sticking to the storyline instead of going out and doing random quests. What's this? Sorry, I I've just got. <laughs> right as I say, I'm not gonna explore. I have to explore this place. I just auto attempt every time. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't get it. Okay, let's see what's in here. Just don't wake him up. I'll never notice. Burgle. Oh. I'm not gonna sit. Freak. He's gonna catch me. He's totally gonna catch me here. Oh. Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks oh. the law on my watch. <laughs> no! I'm confiscating your stolen goods. What did I do? Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Okay, I'll pay a fine. Um, pay gold? That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. I'm not doing anything like that. Okay. I'm scared. Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First, we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, so... and we release you. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I believe I have found Wenton Priory. Um, so it's this. Okay, I'm here. Uh, and I think I have to find some guy called Joffrey. So, I 
guess he'd be in here. Joffrey? Hello? Joffrey? Is this Joffrey? Excuse me, can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Mabral or Joffrey? Joffrey. Yeah, I'm looking for Joffrey. I must speak I think to he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. Yep, will do. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Sleeping when you talk about um, Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? Um, You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Yeah, Let me know. see it. Yeah, By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Yep. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Yep. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Um... See, I didn't... I skipped through that conversation, so I don't know what you're talking about here. And you guys didn't see this, but basically he, like, said... Basically he, like, said something, and... Um, well, Prince of Destruction and Jaws of Oblivion. So, um, anyway, I don't know which one to do, but I honestly don't know. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. Okay. The Prince of Destruction, Mehrunes Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. I but see. the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Yeah, how I'm not sure. This? Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. Yeah. The amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. Okay. When an emperor is crowned, he about. uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. Um, I am I'm one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Mm. Yeah, where can I find his name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. Okay. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger.